All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushah, Bashem Rakak with us. want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a shit, Shalom, try to act him out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this topic basically about the U.S. stocks crash is fear of an of all out trade war spooks investors. Okay? And um, this is a video that I'm about to play that China threatens another 50 billion tariffs on U.S. goods. Okay, I'm going to just play a little bit of it and I'm going to get into uh, some scriptures. And I'm going to read this article. We could see another rough day on Wall Street today after China's newest announcement on tariffs. It's ready to tax another $50 billion worth of U.S. goods in retaliation for similar tariffs on Chinese goods that the White House revealed yesterday. Ben Tracy is in Beijing, where the odds of a trade war just went up dramatically. Ben, good morning. Good morning. So China just took its gloves off. That's um, a problem I always have with these people, man. You know, <laughs> they always want to say good morning, you know. Ain't nothing good about none of the shit that they be talking about, you know. These people are, are scared, you know. And they just scared to keep it real, man, you know. Often is now threatened to hit U.S. imports where it will really hurt. The Chinese government is saying that it will put a 25% tariff on 106 U.S. products, including soybeans, corn, air... And uh, soybeans are in a lot of um, products. Okay, and a lot, a lot of Americans love corn, you know. Crafts and automobiles. Now, this is very bad news for farmers in places like Iowa and for big U.S. companies like Boeing. In all, the tariffs total $50 billion. Now, that's the same amount the U.S. is proposing on about 1,300 Chinese products, including medical devices, semiconductors, and televisions. Now, last week, we asked the U.S. ambassador to China, Terry Branstad, about a trade war with China, something President Trump says would be good and easy to win. Do you think a trade war with China would be good, and do you think it would be easy to win? I don't want to see a trade war. I want to see us work together to resolve these differences. So you don't think a trade war would be good? No. I think it would be better to work these things out. Now, China says it still wants to negotiate with the U.S., and there are no start dates for these tariffs, so as of now, these are still threats. Now, if, uh, if, you, if, if you're an American, okay, and you uh, love America, then um, you would be down for a trade war, okay? You would be totally down for Donald Trump, okay? Because Donald Trump has this mentality that he wants to make America great again, okay? And um, he doesn't care about what these other countries have to do or, 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 or say because he feels like he can make America better than the, and America. He believes America is better than these other countries, okay? That he don't need the world, okay, to, to do things, Okay? So if you believe in America, then Donald Trump is the guy that's that's for you. You need to have uh, <laughs> faith in him, you know. But we know that's that. In the truth, we know that that ain't how things gonna go. The Lord has that spirit on Donald Trump for a reason. Okay, it says U.S. stocks crash. It's fear of all-out trade war spooks investors. Okay, it says Wall Street heavy losses. And early trading on Wednesday after Beijing announced retaliatory tariffs on American per imports. Okay. And America always trying to make it seem like they're the victim. You know. Or that uh, their, their, their actions are um, justified. Okay. It says Dow, the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped about over 400 points or 2%. Before slightly, I mean, re recovering slightly, the S and P 500 and Nasdaq opened 1.3 percent lower. Major U.S. companies' stocks were down across the board, with all 30 Dow components trading lower. About 450 of the S and P 
500 components were down as well. On the NASDAQ, major tech companies, Apple and Fang Gang, uh, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Netflix and uh, Alphabet were down between 1 and 4%. It's tip for tack as China retaliates, sending the markets and the tailspin. Today's decline will likely accelerate the pace of testing the indices yearly lows in the coming days, said Peter Cardillo, chief market economist, economist at, um, at First Standard Financial in New York, as quoted by Reuters. And the question is, is it? Um, will the U.S. Uh, economy crash or will the dollar bill crash? Is when will the U.S. economy crash, and when will that uh, dollar bill uh, collapse? Okay. So um, I'm gonna get this Revelation 18 and 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Okay, America, China going to get some of this this uh this uh bullshit too you know because china is making this this move okay to, to to get away from the u.s dollar you know along with other um um nations or, or um people okay like russia and um i believe brazil india and i believe uh south africa okay it says uh just among some some i think iran is one of them and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Okay. And that goes into the uh, stock market. Okay. Um. Strong's G, 1713. Emparas. Emparas. It says, uh, on, one on a journey, whether by sea or by land, especially for trade. Oh, for trade, right? <laughs> it says, all-out trade war, okay? A merchant as opposed to a retailer or petty tradesman, okay? And uh, look at that movie, Wolf on Wall Street, man. The, 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 the things that he, he was doing, man. Okay, but these people have gotten rich off of uh, America. Okay, and they're they're running scared. Okay, and all it takes, man, you know, is for some major terrorist attack to happen in a uh, a city downtown area, like let's say a pocket nuke, and um, that right there. Is a lot of investments being uh, taken away. You got, you got um, major stores downtown. You if, if like here in Baltimore, you have uh, the Baltimore Harbor, and there's a lot of stuff down in the in the harbor. Okay, in that area, you have automobiles. Okay, they bring in the, the cars. Okay, Baltimore is a, a major port city. Okay, you have um, uh housing okay they're building they're always building housing in these uh these neighborhoods or down in the uh the major parts of the city okay a lot of these franchises are are down in bought uh uh in the um the the uh downtown parts of these city these cities okay the the banks and everything so all it takes is just one major Attack to happen, and boom, there go the dollar bill. Okay, a lot of a lot of money is gone. Okay. Um. In America, okay, they don't want to go go to war with China. Okay, especially on this this uh, trade war. Okay, that's one of the, the things that they really don't want to do. Is that man just said? They want to they want to try to work it out. Okay, and um, in the uh, scriptures and in 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 real life, okay, because both the scriptures co coincide with real life. 
It talks about how, you know, in Habakkuk, the second chapter, how the so-called white man gets down. He likes to go to these other uh, countries and like to take what they uh, what they have. Okay. But um, let me get this. Isaiah 47 and 15. Thus shall they be unto you with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander everyone to his quarter. None shall save thee. So you got you best believe that these um people who are in the stock market, the stock exchange, they they run into that to that people like, hey man, you know, well, well, well take this, you know, take that. You know? But but they ain't gonna be able to save that dollar bill when um when it happens, man. Okay? Especially if a major major attack happens. Okay? Um, which a major attack is going to happen, a super major attack in the, the Revelation, Revelation um, 18 and 8. Therefore, saw her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire, for strong is the Lord who judges her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her. When they shall see the smoke of her burning, <clears throat> standing afar off for the torment, for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is your judgment come. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buys her merchandise anymore. Okay? So it don't matter if, uh, China is taxing these things or not, okay? Because pretty soon, people aren't going to buy that, buy them the merchandise anymore before be, before the missiles come, and and especially after the missiles come, okay? Because the 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 so-called white man is going to make it to where, or America and these um, other countries, they're going to they're going to make this this uh, RFID chip mandatory. Okay, and, and people aren't going to be able to buy anything, okay, unless they have that chip. Okay, so, you know, tough times are coming to America, man. Okay, and um, <laughs> there's no way to really prepare for it unless you, you know, in this truth and you're a man of the Lord. Okay, or, or you're a woman and you, you have a man of the Lord. Okay. <clears throat> But with that, you know, uh, want to say salawam.